Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to use Vortex Mod Manager on my Steam Deck Steam OS to manage a Steam game, okay? So first, let's take a look at my Vortex Mod Manager. I've installed it here on Lutris, okay? I'm not gonna show you how to install it in this video because I have another video for that. I'll leave the link to the video in the description below and I'll also leave a card up right now. If you want to install Vortex Mod Manager on your Steam Deck, Steam OS, all right, go to that video first and then come back to this one. All right, so here it is on Lutris. Right click it, configure. Let's take a look where I put my prefix folder. So, Wine Prefix, it's in this location. So, Home, Documents, Prefixes, Vortex, okay? So, let's go to my Dolphin, go to Documents, Prefixes, Vortex. This is my prefix folder for Vortex. So, Drive C. And you can see I've got a game here already, Baldur's Gate 3. This is a non-Steam game. So I just moved the whole game folder inside the C drive of Vortex because this makes it easy to manage the, the game. And because it's a non-Steam game, I can run the game from here. But um, I think people have issues for Steam games because you can't just move the game folder and run it from here. Okay, so today I'm going to demonstrate how to do that. Okay, so let's just launch Vortex Mod Manager first. Okay, let me boot it up, it'll take some time. All right, here's the splash screen. Here's the splash screen. Okay, now go to games. Okay, and then add your Steam game. So in this tutorial, I'm going to use Monster Hunter World. So Monster Hunter World, I'm going to click manage. Okay, so it hasn't automatically discovered my game folder. So just continue. And normally I'll put it inside the C drive of Vortex, all right? So you can see this is the C drive, exactly the same as this one, all right? And I don't have my game in here yet, okay? So let's just locate my game. So go to Home. I'm going to open a new tab. So make sure the three lines here, you click it and show hidden files. This is checked, all right? Because we're going into a hidden folder called .steam. And then Steam, Steam Apps, and then Common, all right? So here are where your Steam games, the game folder is normally located. So Monster Hunter World is the game I want to mod, the Steam game. So I'm just going to drag the whole game folder into the C drive of Vortex. So move here, it's instant, all right? Then go back to my Vortex, all right? It doesn't show up immediately. Just go back to my computer, C drive, and then... I'm just select Monster Hunter World and click open. Okay. And you can see it's it's uh it's managing it now. But we don't have Strackers loader, right? This is something that you really need. But don't worry about that yet. So once I've already got this, I'm just going to go here to the three dots on the game and I'm going to open Nexus page, okay? All right, so here's where you download your mods. So make sure you log in. You need to log in to download. All right, so I'm just going to select most endorsed, okay? So I think I want, um, okay, this is an easy one to show you. So uh, one Zenny shop. So it makes the shop, uh, all the items there, uh, makes it to uh, one Zenny. So it's easy to buy stuff. So, okay, manual download. All right, so this mod needs some dependencies. So it needs Strackers Loader. So this is one we really need. All right, Strackers Loader. So I'm going to download this file and then manual download. All right, and uh, this one also needs Performance Booster and Plugin Extender. All right, so click on it as well. Okay, so I'm going to download this. So manual download. Okay, so, okay, so download this first. Manual download. So wait for it. Okay, it's downloaded. And then Strackers Loader, I'm going to download this as well. Download. Okay, downloaded. And then the $1 Zenny Shop. One Zenny Shop, sorry. Not $1, one Zenny. That's the currency in Monster Hunter. Okay, one Zenny shop. So I downloaded that as well. Okay, let's see what else I can like install. Okay, um, 
I think this is quite useful, this one. A monster weakness icon. So when you load the uh, quest, you see the see the icons, the element icons. So this one's weak against ice. This one's weak against uh, lightning, stuff like that. All right, this is very useful, I think. So manual download this. And it's easy for me to show you if the mod works. So that's why I'm using these ones. Okay. I'm going to use a few more because um, some people like they they install the mods and some are conflicting. So yeah, I just want to show you that, you know, a few mods. All right, maybe uh, this one. I think there's a uh, the guiding lands gathering indicator. All right. So when you're in the guiding lands, it shows you where to where the bones are and all that. But this is also very helpful. So manual download. Okay, so I think I have enough. Got like four or five mods on. Okay, so after you download it, okay, go to back to your Vortex mod manager. So I'm managing Monster Hunter World right now. I'm just going to go to the mods tab. So I don't have any mods installed right now. So I'm going to go to my downloads. So open a new tab. So here are my the zip files, the mods that I downloaded. So I've got five of them. I drag them over and drag them here and it should just automatically install for you. Okay. So just wait for it to install. All right. If you have issues, like if you install all these mods and then your game crashes, like try to in install the mods one by one. All right. So you know which mod is conflicting with each other, maybe. All right. All right. So I already have this installed now. So I don't think I need this now. Right, so it doesn't really matter right now. Okay, so now the now the mods are done. Okay, go back to your drive C because we can't run Monster Hunter World because we moved it. All right, it's a Steam game. It needs to be in the comments. So let's just move it back. Just move it back to here because you've already done your mods, right? And now let's run the game. Run the game. Okay, so Monster Hunter. So this is the official Steam game. You can see I've got time played and all that. All right. You go to its properties. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit different to a non-Steam game. Okay, so let's just play it and see if the mods work. Okay, so let me boot up the game. If you like the video so far, please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Okay, so I'm booting up the game. Here it is. Okay. So start game. Then I'm going to load my character, create an online session. Okay, so first thing, I think we go to the shop. See if we get the one Senny shop. <laughs> Buy the pouch, you can see. All right, you can see. See everything here is one Senny. All right, so that works. That works. Okay, let's check out the weakness indicator. So post new quest. Master rank assigned. All right, you can see on the the you can see the icons of the monsters on the top right. It's got an icon to show the weakness element. All right, so that works as well. Okay, and let's go to the guiding lands. All right, let's go to the guiding lands and see if we get the we can see the map, see where to you know get the bones and all that. Okay, so we're in the Guiding Lands. Check our map. All right, you can see here, you see those, like the bones, the yellow and orange, these ones. Yeah, th that's normally not there. 
That's normally not there. This just shows you where you can mine stuff. All right. Before in the guiding lands, you have to search for it yourself. But now it's there. So yeah, all the mods work. So that's how you mod a Steam game. All right. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.